Oh, it's flat. Perfect. Hi, how are you doing? I said my apprenticeship in the mid 80s in a workshop that made staircases, doors and windows and during the manufacture of those items we don't really insert a lot of screws. In the late 80s and 90s I went to work in a shop fitting company where we made lots of counters, cash desks and points of display and all of a sudden I found myself putting a lot of screws in. Tool of choice at that time the Yankee screwdriver. These were the days before the battery drill were widespread. I don't think I got mine till 93 which was a Makita. So up till then the Yankee was the tool of choice for the bench joiner. There was three sizes. Uh, this is the medium one. I had both this one and the larger one in, in, in the new version with the sort of maroon plastic handle. This was my grandfather's who gave me it when I had my tool stolen in the mid 90s and looking at this it says on it a Yankee 130A North Brothers MFG manufacturing maybe 60 I think that says Philadelphia USA patent December 11 1923 made in the United States and this was a great tool and it's the first tool I bought when I started at the shop fitting company at the time and I don't know whether it's still the same now at the we used to get around about £1.60 per week tool money to help to buy and maintain tools I don't know if that's still a thing tool money if it is let me know in the comments this I put literally tens of thousands of screws in with these things. I believe that North Brothers actually probably invented and then got bought out by Stanley because this actually doesn't say Stanley on it. So I think this is one of the original North Brothers Yankees before it got bought out by Stanley. Now my granddad probably started work sort of between the war years probably around about 1930 I'm guessing. Maybe even earlier, 1925 maybe. This might actually date from that period. It's a lovely uh, piece of tool. I mean, it looks very much like it's brass and then silvered. Why they'd want a silver brass, I don't know. But the good thing about these is, first of all, they never go flat. You can use them all the time. And secondly, you don't really seem to go through the bits that you do with a battery drill. I'm, I seem to change the, the bits in this every few days. I'm always seem to be breaking them or wearing them out. Maybe just because you put a lot less torque through the screw with these, they're just they just bits stay together better. I don't really recall buying a lot of these bits over the years when I was using them. One thing we did with these, we used to modify them slightly, nothing too drastic. What we used to do, we used to get a Jubilee clip, put a Jubilee clip on the barrel like that. <laughs> and the reason for, screwdriver down the floor, oh, put, they used to stay on the bench. They never rolled off the bench. Everybody in the workshop that I used to work with used to have a Jubilee clip on the barrel like that. I suppose the other good thing about these as well is that is that you can actually get into places where the screw guns and the battery guns just a little bit too broad to get into. So when you're inside a working inside a counter screwing a top on a counter for example it's perfect. I do recall words of wisdom though from the guys I used to work with. Always work with your face below it because obviously if you're working on the top and you, and you slip out, that thing is gonna poke your eyes out. So yeah, a really fantastic tool. <laughs> this one may have actually been on the go since about 1925. Had a little ratchet mechanism. So you could actually use them in the closed up position as a ratchet screwdriver. Lock it off or in reverse. I believe Stanley no longer make these. In fact, if I understand rightly, Yankee sold the rights to these off to a German company, Schroeder, who still do make them in some shape or form. There's a few modern days equivalent online. I've noticed this sort of draper makes some, but whether they're as good as the original Yankee, I don't know. I don't know whether North Brothers turned into Stanley or Stanley bought them from North Brothers or bought North Brothers in the early 20th centuries. I'm sure it was a good acquisition for Stanley before the world moved on to battery drills. I put 
tens and tens of thousands of screws in. We used to get projects on our bench and we used to have to fill a little order padding of all the materials we would need to complete that order and we used to itemise all the screws, the size of screws, get them signed off by the foreman and then go down to the works stores and sign out 10,000 screws of inch and a quarter and 8,000 screws of inch and a half to make a long production of, of counters for say Marks and Spencers and we, we'd make a, a new cash desk for every Marks and Spencers store in the country so uh, and they were all pretty much batch made so so yeah the, these things went through a lot of work so there you go my little overview of the Yankee screwdrivers if you remember these and, and use them a lot let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon. Bye.